Now listen, I'm going to be on the radio tomorrow night. The great Dan Zangrelli does a great job. He's going to be off. Robert Mangino and I, we're going to be in a game that really has a lot of implications in the Allegheny 8 Conference. You have got Bethel Park, 5-2 and two overall, 4-1 and one in the conference. Peters Township, 7-1 and one overall, and 5-2 and two in the conference. So really excited about that. Pre-game a little after 6.30, kickoff a little after 7. But... I hope to hear a little bit of the Pitt-Syracuse game at the Carrier Dome, kickoff at 7, 93-7, the fan. You know, Tony Dorsett, many years ago, I saw an 8 millimeter film of him running wild against Beaver Falls while playing for Hopewell. I think a lot about this rivalry. It's a great rivalry. Two East Coast powers for many years. Obviously, uh, Pitt's had a better time of it this year than Syracuse. But when you think Pitt-Syracuse, I think Donovan McNabb. I think, you know, to Danny Marino. I think Dorsett. What do you think about? I think about the uh, the Big East in football, and what a great league that was. And uh, you know, now when you got the three local teams that are that are basically in three different conferences, it just with West Virginia being a Big Twelve and Penn State in the Big Ten, Pitt in the ACC, it, it just doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel right. I wish uh, that. They could have gotten it right, and all three of them would have been in the same league. Uh, I think it's. I think that has actually hurt football in the area. Although, you know, three and a half hours from this place, three hours and fifteen minutes from this place west, is a place called Ohio State. Yeah, they play some pretty. They're good not too bad. No, no, no. Last time I heard, they're pretty good. But no one will ever have the number 32 of the great Jim Brown like Syracuse did. And Ernie Davis. They had some players there. And, you know, Andrew Fittiponi, who's a tremendous talent, a 93-7, the fan, does a lot of national stuff. He went to school there, probably the greatest journalism school in the country. I mean, a lot, yeah, a lot of folks have gone there. There's something magical about the Carrier Dome, though. The well, deafening noise from the crowd. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's I think it's I was, a great matchup. When I was a graduate assistant at WVU, we played then. That was a big rivalry for us back then. Coach Nealon and and their head football coaches, you know, they were best friends. And uh, my boy, the battles, uh, it's just, I feel bad for uh, the, the Big East. I mean, that that change. was a, the change. Um, I don't think the ACC division in which Pitt competes is, uh, it's just not the same. It's not the same. And West Virginia, you know. I bring, know. Bring back Richard, please. Listen, uh, it's DeVito of Syracuse. It's Pickett of Pitt. It's tomorrow night, 7 p.m. kickoff, 93.7 The Fan. We'll talk to you later tonight from Wellsville.